Hello guys, welcome back. This is the part 5 of JWT authentication. So in this section, we are going to implement login functionality. So let's get started. First of all, let's generate auth service city client and inside client generate service and auth and skip test. We have here auth service and let's generate environments ngg environments let's add production false and api url let's add back in the api url save it and let's copy this two variable and paste in development environment save it and go to our service here let's import api url from environments so here api url api url of type string let's import environment and api url here let's implement login function login let's say data head of type login request So, first of all, let's create another terminal and let's go to back and API and start our backend application. Here we can see our login endpoint. Inside login point, we have type of email, we have object of type email and password. So, let's generate login request here. Let's make it little bigger. Here, let's generate login request interface and the generate interface inside interfaces. Let's add login request interface. Look, we have inside interfaces we have login request. Here, let's go to browser and copy this to field and paste here remove this string quotation save it here let's import control dot and input let's add return type here observable of what go to here and we can see we have response type is token is success and message with all type are string copy it here let's add auth response interface let's send it interface and here let's add auth response interface look we have auth response interface let's click it and here let's paste our response here and also save it and let's import control dot and input let's import http client here private http and http client here let's add this dot http dot post and let's add url here this dot api url slash account slash login we have slash account slash login here and let's add here data and five five and here let's map our response response goes to if response dot let's add return type here this return auth response 
and let's check if response dot is success then add our response token in local storage so local storage dot set item let's say token and let's add response dot token here and here return response back save it here let's extract this into reusable variable cut here let's add private variable if token key token let's add here this dot token key return this save it now let's go to login component and inject auth service here auth service and inject auth service here save it inside login let's call our login method this dot auth service dot login and let's pass this dot form dot value here and let's subscribe response goes to let's log it into console response and let's save it and run our application npm start here let's go to login and let's see console control shift i here we can see null injector error so go to app config.ts and provide http client here provide http client save it let's go to console again we don't have any error here look let's fill up form login look we have another error cross origin error so we need to enable cross origin from backend so go to go to program cs and go to drill down here let's add app dot use course let's add here option options goes to options dot allow any header options options dot allow any method and option dot allow any origin save it let's restart our backend project control c go to browser and let's test again clear it login we have 404 first of all let's create account from here let's try it out our account created successfully so let's go to client and let's add you is and let's login we have error here let's go to auth service and remove this slash from here save it go to browser you can see we have login successful we have token here and is success true message login success let's see our application and local storage 4200 you can see our token is stored in our local storage after login success let's redirect to home page and so toast login success go to login component and inject here math snap bar inject here Net snack bar. Let's import first here mat snack bar model and import here import mat snack
here remove these things and let's add next after response goes to let's inject here router inject router and after success let's so toast this dot match snagbar dot open open response dot message and let's get close let's add duration 5000 millisecond and horizontal position center and after this let's navigate to this dot navigator dot navigate in home page navigate to home page if error happen then error goes to error here let's show this dot snack bar dot open let's copy it from here paste it error dot error dot message save it go to browser click list login login success let's look our console we have to concept successfully and we have implement login method here 